Far beyond Neptune, where sunlight fades into blackness, astronomers have noticed something odd, a subtle, unexplained pull on distant icy bodies. Their orbits tilt, they cluster, they move in strange harmony, as if following the command of something unseen. It's not a comet, it's not a known planet, and it doesn't shine. For years, scientists have searched for the source of these patterns. And now, with powerful new simulations and a next-gen observatory about to scan the skies, the mystery is heating up. Could a giant, frozen world be hiding at the edge of our solar system? In this episode, we'll uncover what this thing really is, why it shocks scientists, and how it could change our understanding of the solar system forever. The peculiar motion of distant objects beyond Neptune has long hinted at something massive but invisible. These trans-Neptunian objects have orbits that cluster and tilt in ways that aren't easily explained by known planetary influences. This gravitational anomaly led to the hypothesis of Planet Nine, a hidden ice giant that could be shaping their paths from afar. Originally proposed by Mike Brown and Konstantin Bedigin in 2016, the theory gained traction through orbital simulations. These models suggest that a planet roughly four to five times Earth's mass could exist on an extremely elongated orbit, taking around 5,000 years to circle the sun. Such a body would be too faint and too slow moving to be detected by conventional telescopes. But now, that limitation may be overcome. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, beginning operations in 2025, will repeatedly scan the sky using high-resolution, wide-field imaging. It will capture small positional shifts over time, precisely the kind of motion that a distant Planet 9 would exhibit. Unlike past efforts that focused on brightness, Rubin's approach emphasizes motion detection over time, which is key to finding slow, distant bodies. Meanwhile, updated simulations have incorporated early solar system dynamics, suggesting that if Planet 9 exists, it likely formed closer to the sun and was ejected to a distant orbit by gravitational interactions. These events were common during the early instability of planetary formation, especially in a solar system surrounded by other young stars. Together, trans-Neptunian object orbits, scattering models, and Rubin's survey form a focused effort to find or rule out Planet Nine. The early solar system was likely a crowded and unstable place. The sun probably formed in a dense stellar cluster, where nearby stars were close enough to influence the formation of planetary orbits. In such environments, gravitational encounters were frequent, and planetary rearrangements were likely. This background supports the possibility that a giant planet was pushed to the solar system's edge, where it now quietly orbits, mostly undisturbed. Simulations also suggest that icy cores, the building blocks of ice giants, formed beyond Saturn. These objects could have been nudged outward by Jupiter and Saturn's gravitational influence. While many were ejected into interstellar space, one may have settled into a wide orbit, fitting Planet Nine's predicted profile. This theory aligns with observations of systems like HD106906 where a large planet was found orbiting far from its star, likely due to similar gravitational dynamics. If Planet Nine exists, it could serve as our local analog to such distant exoplanets, helping to bridge solar system science with broader planetary formation theories. Not everyone agrees, however. Some researchers argue that the observed orbital clustering of trans-Neptunian objects may be the result of observational bias. Others propose that a collective gravitational effect from many small objects could create similar patterns without needing a large planet. These alternatives are part of an ongoing debate. Still, Planet Nine offers a compelling explanation that connects multiple strands of evidence. It explains the dynamics of the Kuiper Belt, supports models of chaotic early formation, and provides context for the unusual behavior of extreme trans-Neptunian objects. Whether confirmed or not, investigating Planet Nine allows scientists to test the limits of current planetary science. As we reach the middle of 2025, 
Planet 9 remains undetected, but the tools and approaches used to search for it have evolved. The Vera Rubin Observatory is poised to lead the next phase of this investigation. Its legacy survey of space and time will capture frequent, high-detail images of the sky over the next decade. By analyzing this data, astronomers can track slow-motion objects that were previously invisible to one-time surveys. Interestingly, researchers have already identified a candidate in archival infrared data from past missions like IRIS and Akari. The object fits some expected properties, though its orbital tilt doesn't align with current models. While inconclusive, it's an example of how past data can still yield potential leads, especially when combined with modern simulations. Current theoretical estimates, including those from astrophysicist Sean Raymond, suggest a 5 to 10% chance that an ice giant could have ended up on an orbit like that of Planet 9 through natural planetary migration and ejection scenarios. That percentage might seem low, but it becomes significant when scaled across all solar-type stars and it's enough to warrant serious continued search efforts. Even if Planet 9 isn't found, Rubin will deliver a wealth of data. It will allow scientists to reassess the Kuiper Belt structure and determine whether the clustering of distant objects is real or simply an artifact of limited observations. This alone could resolve one of the main tensions in the debate. At the very least, this search reminds us how much remains unknown, even in our own cosmic backyard. Somewhere beyond Neptune, the answer is waiting. Whether it confirms a hidden giant or challenges us to rethink our assumptions, the search for Planet Nine is science at its most persistent and profound. See you next time.